I've been manipulated a hundred times, but none of them felt so soft and kind. And hell is a place for what we tried, but never felt so wrong. In relation to my last video, Tree Stumps Everywhere, it should be obviously clear by this point that these tree stump locations are absolutely everywhere across the globe. People are forever sending me pictures of mountains, stating that they found another tree stump. My point is that they are all over the world. It's just you are now seeing them. The previous video talked about mother trees or hub trees. Trees of significant power, trees that play a huge part to the grid and other trees, the life on the planet and the conditions of the realm. Ultimately we can see by looking at our landscapes that the trees of the past were taken down, ultimately affecting the grid and the realm as we know it, changing its landscape forever. Seemingly walking on top of giants now we are, which leads me on to a holiday which I undertook to the island of Tenerife on the Canary Islands. Knowing already that there is a huge mountain there, Mount Tady, this video will be an exploration of the island of Tenerife. Firstly, I'll start by speaking about a download or information that was received whilst on the Tenerife Island, showing you evidence that Tenerife Island was once a giant tree, which also links to the huge mother tree in North America, which I will also show. After an explanation of the downloads and information received, I will give you a day by day walkthrough of my experience on the Tenerife Island so you can see what I saw and how I saw it when I saw it. I will be showing you all signs to look out for, things that you can catch with your eye to give you indications of a particular area and also giving great decodes to the Tenerife Island itself. Let the journey begin. Enjoy. It was night three and I was visited by a spiritual force in my dreams. It shook me in my sleep and wouldn't let me rest until I took its message. Like a hungry ghost that needs a task fulfilled before it settles. It stayed with me until I listened. I awoke around 4am in Tenerife to receive the decode. That the word tree is in the name Tenerife. But more so, the term tree of life kept popping up to me with Tenerife being an extremely close anagram. Simply changing the N to an L, we would have tree life or tree of life. With the N instead of an L, it actually is pronounced as knife without the K. A knife that you cut down with, like the tree has been cut down as we are aware. Googling the tree of life Tenerife, the dragon tree came up said to be over a thousand years old. And although this tree is beautiful and unique, it is almost a distraction from the bigger hidden tree, the stump, Mount Tady. It also gave me Crete and the information on it. It made me aware that tree is also in the name Crete. Like C tree or C being the third letter could be free tree. And we can change the word from free as in the number to free as in free energy, free tree. Or the sea could be seen as sea, as in the sea that we swim in, sea tree. Now all these islands seem to be huge trees or parts of trees that are now scattered amongst the sea. It proceeded from Crete to show me the word reset. And the word reset, rearranged as an anagram, creates the word trees. Isn't that funny? That the word reset has the word trees in it. The trees playing a huge part in these resets seemingly. And street. Street also has tree in its name. Myself showing streets and town designs are located on old trees following routes such as the mycorrhizal system. And this could be compared to freeways in the US. Whilst in Tenerife, I unconsciously chose to stay at a golf course, which was right next to Mount Tady. Like I was guided to stay there, after all the work I've done around golf courses, trees and amusements, it seemed I was ordained or led there in a divine way. 
In Tenerife, just like all the other towns and cities across the world, you can see the landscape has been dug out around the tree. And also the fact it wasn't that long ago. It seems to be within the last couple of hundred years it has been harvested and repurposed, as you can tell from the landscape. Golf courses significant to giant trees of the past, and also circuits, the Earth's grid. When starting a game of golf, you tee off, and tee again is a close anagram to tree, if we add an R. So you start with the tree, you use a selection of tools to hit from the tee around the course to get it into the hole where you need to be, usually within a limited amount of moves, doing it in one is considered the best. It reminds me of the moving of the tree's energy or power from one place to another, the hole being the objective or the goal, avoiding particular areas where the ball is out of bounds, staying on course. And course is defined as a route or direction followed by ship, aircraft, road or river. Making sense, it's all to do with the flow of energy around the grid on a micro scale, a representation of the macro. But it's not just that, golf courses also play a bigger part with underground networks and tunnels as I've also shown. Underneath the pristine greens and fairways of Augusta National lies a hidden network of tunnels. Constructed in the 1930s, these tunnels were initially built to assist with irrigation, but they now serve multiple purposes, including drainage and housing electrical wiring. The tunnels also allow for discreet transportation of maintenance equipment and staff, assuring that the course remains in immaculate condition throughout the tournament. Only the select few or rich are able to play or join a golf club. All golf courses and clubs are placed in specific locations around the world to access these old world areas and tree locations. So their objective shown on a golf course is to take the energy from the tee or the tree and place it somewhere else which is in the hole or goal. Once in the hole or goal the objective is complete until the game resets. And remember, reset is an anagram of tree. It goes back to the tree. Reset equals trees. In Mother Trees, tree stumps everywhere, we looked at petrification, trees turn to stone, like the stories we read in books of humans and other beings being turned to stone by witches, aren't far from the truth. The word stone, I see S tone, S tone may represent a wave, a vibration, something similar, like a sine wave. But it wouldn't just be a tone that did this to our trees. I see the four elements playing a huge part, the fire, water, air, and earth, or hot, cold, wet, and dry. Used to create are these four elements, but they can also be reversed to destroy. Think of flooding, mud floods, pressure, and heat, and then ice. When we think of the elements together, they are the ages. The ages I see as stages, stages to a process, this again working on two or more levels. As the world is a stage in terms of its narrative and its story and all the lies we are told, but also we are processing from stages of a process like in a chemical process. This is hard to see but you need to think of the ages and the extinction events as stages of a particular process, an chemical process. But this itself is a deeper conversation, a deeper video. But back to tone. The tone is simply vibration and frequency, which we know is the makeup of reality in its most basic form. And when we look at the word rock, heavily associated with music, rock and roll, if we change the R in rock and flip it to an L, it becomes lock. Which makes me think lock something into place, like the trees have been locked, frozen into place, they've been turned to rock, and it reminds me of this song, Rockabye Baby, Rockabye Baby, on the treetop, when the wind blows, the cradle will drop. Now when we think of the cradle, it's almost like the cradle of civilization drops, us, it's pretty cold, just think about it, you're in a cradle, high up in a tree on a windy day. According to political theory, the lyrics of Rockabye Baby were a death wish directed to the infant son of King James II, hoping he will be died or replaced by a Protestant king. Other believe the lyrics came from a woman named Betty Kenny, who lived with her husband Luke and their eight children in a 2,000 year old yew tree 
in a place called Shining Cliff Woods in Derbyshire. According to legend, Betty used a hollowed out branch of the tree as a cradle to rock her children to sleep. Okay, so I've done videos with Michelle on our below Stone Circle in Derby, where many ley lines meet and connect. And the location of the Shining Woods from the story, which is a real place, is literally a stone throw, pun intended, from this location. Having already shown mountains and mounds, flipping the W gives wound for mound, and wound tain for mountain, adding the D, like a wound is maintained, or you tain it by keeping it pacified. I don't want to go too far in this direction, but as you can see, everything is linked and connected. Rock and roll signifies the turning of rocks and rolling them away. Think of the sound that would be created. Firstly, the killing of the trees and the destruction and the booms, then the rolling sounds of the huge rock. Hence, rock and roll, the celebration and mocking of the killing of trees. <laughs> Again, for me, this is not that far back in our history. With rock and roll forming maybe in the 30s or 40s, it would have been the result of events prior, potentially in the 1800s, in our narrated timeline. Just as the Flintstones, the program, aren't as old as they tell us, with many hidden secrets in that animation. Some interesting known facts that give insight to my trip. In the 16th century, there were more pirates in the Canary Islands than in the Caribbean. It is not known whether Captain Jack Sparrow actually existed, but it is known for certain about Captain John Hawkins, who was placed in the Canary Islands. And many films, such as the Pirates of the Caribbean, also include the Canary Islands. Now this reminded me of Hawkins High School out of Stranger Things, and I asked Google the question, is Hawkins, Indiana a real place? No, the series creators, the Duffer Brothers, devised a fictional Hawkins after high production costs prevented the duo from giving Stranger Things a coastal setting at, at Montic, Montic, New York. Now this itself may provide a link between America and Tenerife. As you already know, I've covered Montic in a previous video of Michelle Gibson in regards to the MK and different things happening in regards to the Earth's energy grid. But this itself, provides a link between America and Tenerife, especially with the place where I was staying called Player the Americas, and a lot of the names being South American related, including the architecture and buildings. This would link to the mother tree in America, which I'll show you later in this video, linking to Las Vegas and the Earth's energy grid all across the world. Other facts of Tenerife, it has the world's longest network of natural labyrinths and volcanic origin lay below. The Taidi volcano is the third highest in the world amongst the island mountains. Santa Cruz is the capital of Tenerife and the capital of the Canary Islands is Las Palmas, which reminds me of palm trees. Today, every sixth resident on the island works in the tourism industry, showing how much of a tourist attraction this island has become and how everybody is working for the same agenda, essentially harvesting energy and finance profit. The national anthem of Spain has no lyrics. This is the only anthem in the world without lyrics. I find that special in some way. It's the only anthem in the world with no lyrics. Brian May, the guitarist from Queen, visited the Teddy Observatory in 1971. He studied astronomy and collected information for his graduate work at the observatory. It was the place where he wrote, Tie Your Mother Down. Let's listen. Now what the fuck? After everything I've said about the mother tree, it being locked, as in the word rocked, and tied down, it's literally all in his lyrics. Pure disclosure in this song.
more wordplay would include street, as I've shown, contains the word trees. And even in a car when you're on the streets, what do you do in a car? You steer. And steer is another anagram for trees yet again. So you steer through the street. Essentially, you trees through the trees. Even a freeway, as said before, could be considered a treeway. The word circuit, when we change the two I's to E's, also contains the word tree. C-U tree. Electric has the word tree in it. The word stream has the word trees in it and also ma, like mother trees or ma trees, hinting that streams come from trees. Streams being flowing energy. I've previously shown clips from Monsters Inc. and Screams, which also bring energy and can be harvested in channel. The streams and screams are hugely related. In the word tree, if we flip the T to an F and flip the R to an L, it becomes flee, to run away from danger. Saying trees are dangerous, but we know that's not the case, to try and keep us away from them. Which links on to the word trespassing, which also contains the word trees. Passing trees, if you like which ultimately keeps us away from significant places of importance and tree locations. We are ultimately trespassing or tree passing. The word treasure also has the word trees in it. It actually sounds like trees are sure if you were to rearrange the letters. Trees on land away from sea, with treasure usually buried, which backs this up. It also can spell trees are you or you're a trees the saying that you are a treasure yourself works on so many different levels you truly are deep within you is god is all you are a treasure just like the trees that have now been buried like hidden treasure down below within you is a great treasure and finally the word stress has the word tree in it with an addition of three s's the word itself looks like a word, tree, which is then surrounded by three snakes, one one side and two the other. And isn't it funny that when we visit nature in trees that we de-stress? It's only when we're doing too much or away from nature, not giving ourselves enough time, do we become stressed. And the three S's on the end of the tree ultimately to me signify a snake or the serpent or Satan. Taking this across the seas to the USA, I thought of Las Vegas. We know it as Sin City and other like names. But what does Vegas actually mean? Lost means the. Vegas apparently means meadows and grass in abundance. So if Las Vegas is desert and nothingness, why call it that? It made me look on the map and I see Las Vegas right next to the Navajo Reserve which I see as a huge tree location, the tree location of North America. And Las Vegas just being on the outskirts of that obviously sucked in to its ley line systems and energy grid. Other noticeable places on the map surrounding are places such as Phoenix known for UFOs, Utah or Salt Lake City, New Mexico just to name a few. So the location is important. The reason it was chose was due to the tree that was previously there. This one really reminds me of Avatar, which the native people loving the tree and living for the tree until invaded and the trees destroyed and places turned into cities. Seemingly, most things stemming from this one tree. Las Vegas being the entertainment capital of the world because of this reason, because of its location next to the tree, which means it can affect the Earth's energy grid, affecting the whole of America and the rest of the world. I truly believe that put this city in another location, in a non-important, non-Pacific location, it wouldn't have the effect on the grid that it is having. And places such as Las Vegas affect the mood of the entire world, due to its location it being spread across the world via the ley lines. The tree naturally attracts people, and those people are then manipulated and basically robbed. It is called Sin City. With all the energy of beauty being turned and corrupted, further damaging the location. As stated, I believe, if Las Vegas wasn't placed where it was, 
I feel the whole of the US and other parts of the world would feel a lot less negative energy than it does, as this would cut into the flow of the huge important tree of the entire grid, a very significant one. Something tells me these trees or the earth's grid can be restored and saved. It is not dead, but it is almost in hibernation, locked into place or frozen. I truly believe the stories we heard about people turning into stone and then freed are the stories about our own realm, that beings that have been turned into rock and the earth's energy system severely damaged. I have ideas of what have turned the trees into stone and what, and what caused the whole scenario of the fall, but that is for another video. In this video it was to bring you the information that I received about Tenerife, the trees, showing you the link to America. Now let's take a walk around the Tenerife Island, from day 1 to day 7, see what I saw, when I saw it and how I saw it. The majority of the information is yet to come. Thank you for your time and patience, love and light to you. mountain top look at that old tree that would have been one big tree coming live live from a tree location in Tenerife look at that tree ladies and gentlemen there's your tree stump Of him. He's a big one. Look at how the clouds are mainly just around that bit. Like, there's no other clouds out here. But then when you come to the tree, the clouds start coming. When lightning strikes, it looks for the tallest object as it provides the quickest path to ground, which puts the Burj Khalifa firmly in the firing line. But rather than repelling strikes, the lightning arrester attracts them by detecting the polarity of the lightning and giving itself the opposite charge. That might sound unwise, as a single bolt can contain up to a billion volts. But the Burj Khalifa has a trick up its sleeve. Its steel exoskeleton acts as a giant Faraday cage, safely discharging the electricity around the outside and protecting everyone inside. So we've got no clouds, no clouds, no clouds, no clouds, oh, no clouds, no clouds, no clouds. Oh, as soon as we get to the tree, all the so-called mountains We've got clouds. Clouds. No clouds, no clouds, no clouds, no clouds, no clouds, clouds. Why is it peaceful? Not only because of the energy but the death. There's two things to it in it, it's a weird combination. Of just this beauty, energy, tranquilness in reaching but then at the same time there's a there's a softness and a stillness that is death but not the type that people understand because death is just but silent so and this is why 
we find these locations it's so beautiful it takes us back to that natural self inside ourselves that, that oneness that pureness that silence and although we can hear the waves crashing it almost is silent still it's something that slows it down Look on that bit there, you can see how it's really broken off. I just wish the video quality was better because you can properly see. And it's immense in size. Obviously this was only the tip, do you know what I mean? You've got to think of the root systems. It's like that. It's, it's fucking huge. The, the, the one part of it would come all there and it would have other, but this being its core, There's the tree, and there's the other mama. Here on this side is a golf course. You know, I'm always talking about golf courses in the videos, but that's where my hotel is, where I'm staying. And somehow, without knowing, I'm next to the tree. Literally, I'm there, and the tree's there. But really, I should know that with a golf course being next to it. With all the evidence that I've shown that golf courses are connected hugely to these so-called mountains tree stumps I'm staying on one guided by God connected by the grid with my baby golf course mound mound cloud start tree stump you see all the paths that go around it you can climb it but saying about that life at the moment well hardly we can see where we're staying at this wonderful golf resort yes we are posh <laughs> yes we are posh today but what i want to show you is the roundabout just below the tree obviously i'm always pointing out these these roundabouts the energy round round off, off spinning in different directions same with crossroads and different things always by the same location always by these tree stumps which are always by mount golf clubs and you know the rest if we take this up to a map now which i will later i'm pretty sure we'll find some other shit which relate to the uk america north around the goddamn globe golf course we've got this canal looking thing where they've used bricks and put them into almost cement or concrete and it goes all the way around so you could almost imagine the water bending around here remember the golf course is here got the giant tree there around the corner look at all this it's all the way down got the stones used in it and then trees have been planted all down there as well. <laughs> from, from obviously the tree stump, look at all this, all this has been dug out. That's all dug out that is. And it's pretty new. So, you know, in terms of our history and our time scale, that isn't that far away at all. The shopping mall and everything that's been built down there is relatively new. So we're talking like 50, 100 years ago, that area there would have just been, I don't even know, the, the carcass, the remains of what they took.
parks are the same and then they use all these bigger rocks and they surround everything with these rocks look over there as well it's just all the same carcass remains as we know in our areas they're huge you get some like big like a big fat man like half a car half a car just planted there just randomly yeah 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 just got half a car half a car brick boom 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 like using bones, people's bones. It's just, hey, let's put bones everywhere. It's just a weird tint of red, isn't it? That's completely covered now. The gods are up there, chilling, meeting. Morning settings, man. Empty pool. Jessica in there. I've hit the breakfast up. Well, coffees, smoke. Got myself on that balcony now. And we're out for the day. Love and light to all. Sitting on the balcony, watching the tide. Like a valley. The roundabout behind us, isn't it, babes? It is. The roundabout. And the dual carriageway. All running in proximity of the mount, of the stump. Next girl, we're at the Siam Mall next to the mountain with the big elephants and the big god man. This is Sun, the entrance of the temple of the Emerald Buddha, and their two guardians. The Thai believe that they protect the temple against bad spirits. Bear in mind. This guardian stands under the tree. She's over there, or behind it. Somebody call the Ghostbusters. This is where we tried to walk earlier. Down this little path that just didn't work out. It it was not a path in the end. Interesting thing to note is all this blue stone as well. Blue. Have some beaches are blue, some are red. But no clouds today. But they are approaching over there. Yeah, sure. You can see them again just in that bit. I have to start heading over.
to the yellow. From the red to the blue to the yellow. It's like motherfucking Sonic over here. You got the red <laughs> Sonic, you got the blue Sonic, you got the motherfucking yellow Sonic. <laughs> Where's the rings? I'm going to install some rings on the, on the video now. It's going to come up. Sonic music. Jump. <laughs> One ring. About your veins and arteries that run next to each other. Red, blue. It's ironic these pathways, these channels that we walk ways, that we walk down. Notice the colouring. It's mostly always cream or red. Does it remind you of our arteries or veins and we being the energy that pass through those channels? Those veins of the bigger organism, that organism we call God. Many names. Got the merman, as well as the merwomen. Some of the women are different. That's the man that's bringing up when I was earlier and telling off. That woman there.
Can you call Tony around? I'm, like, I'm not a new member. Can I join you? <laughs> Everyone else is, is taking photos of the sea, beautiful things, I suppose. And I'm taking photos of old drains and drain covers and the stone. So the trees would light up on the night. Mm. Be like Avatar. Oh, so Tile work representing things broken and put back together. Colour schemes, green, yellow, red, blue. Tree's amazing, look at it. it creates its own protective canopy. Lentiaga, the flip flaps, the flip flaps. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna get it. So do you think we were led here for a reason then? Yeah, because we've never booked or looked anywhere like this on a golf course, do you know what I mean? <laughs> we would have normally been in the hotels over there. We would have aimed for closer to the beach. But we were definitely guided here because it kept popping up this hotel, did, didn't it? It, 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 it? it wasn't just in our cost, it was other things, wasn't it? it? Every website we went on, this was showing up and it looked beautiful and it, it, was, it was perfect. Cyan Park. We've just come out of the water park. As I said, it's in front of the mountain. It's a tree stump. 
next to the mounds, next to the retail park, which is there, next to the amphitheater, next to the motorway, next to the fucking golf course and the hotel, next to the beach. Yeah, it's all here, people. Amusements fucking the law down here as well. But look at it, how it's all dug out. This shit's new, as I've said. It's still in development. And it has been for fucking how long? Because like the last hundred years, they've been whatever. Re-landscaping from what was before. Being in the park, all you can hear is screaming. Screaming everywhere. Adrenaline being rushed, screaming. And the people not only fearful but happy and joyful so there's this mix of emotion going on again this duality and you feel it as Justin said you feel that drive of energy almost like you're surging yourself you're surging all your adrenaline up to be used and I think there's one moment in there there's a, there's, if you notice in these type of places the food places are rammed didn't they because yeah. after say a few hours you fucked you like <laughs> You like, you know, and you eat. It's like you, you eat, what you know when you've been in a swimming pool or something like that, you eat like you've never ate before. And there's numerous reasons for that, but part of this one is definitely energy. And even the same at theme parks and all things like that. You know, just how the kids are like, because <laughs> they've used up so much of that adrenaline. Mm -hmm. And it's just funny, we're just walking past the amphitheater now, you know, and this, this is directly in front of the park directly in front of the mountain. So in remember what an amphitheater is? It's all to do with sound, frequency and vibration. And over the road, all that's happening is screaming. So yeah, we went in, experienced the number one water park in the world and I can give you from perspective on the ground. I don't know if you can see that little person right on the top up there. That's my little Jess, that is. Just done the little walk on her own. I couldn't do it, but fucking that little person up there has just rang me from the top. She's only climbed that today. Boom! Like a magician, my dress is. Back here right now! Woo! I go on the boxing machine and got one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Look down. Oh. Oh shit. When you feel the wind inside, let it blow. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys. All day. <laughs> all day. I slow the queues everywhere. I'm just here taking photos of trees in the sun like some fucking weirdo. <laughs> God. Put Jess in it and then it's a bit more more real. It don't look so weird. I am like Jesus. I have the crown and the halo above my head. They call me Jesus. I love the Lord of Light. Hey! texture of this tree looks like it's stone already the shadows of the trees mate the treetops Indian red hest Indian headrests 
Mayan tribe headrests of like objects. Treetops. It's like your head. A little goddamn treetop. Yeah, I was thinking about how this video is going to come together. Do I make it personal? Do I not? Do I include my personal moments? And... Or not? Mm -hmm. So I just messaged me saying I can't wait for you to put everything together that you've been sending me all the clips. I felt like saying I can't fucking wait. But <laughs> I've got no idea. And this is how it works. I've got no idea and then you just I think it's a shame not to include the personal moments in it. It's, it. it's part of the journey. Scusi. Secret agent. Eh? Secret agent of movie. 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 Oh, movie. What movie? movie the finish. What movie? Uh, no, no, no name. name no. no name. Untitled. Thank you. <laughs> Untitled. Untitled. Are you a secret agent? They're really secret agents, isn't it? <laughs> the sea looks very blue today, doesn't it? It matches the sky. It's like the perfect shade. It's like an artist is just painted and mixed the blue in perfectly. best moments you don't seem to get on camera we just come to this crossing up there and there's a woman just waiting by the road and she was um, a native which was funny a spanish woman but we, I, I said to her we and jess said to her cross the road come on and she and then she explained to us when she come over the road that she had recently been run over this was the first time coming out and she was like just be wary and and everything but we, like I, we never knew we actually helped to cross the road for the first time from being I'm coming out of hospital from being hit. I wish to God God's light. And she says, oh, God bless to you. It was lovely, really. We helped her. Lovely woman. Really nice experience. You can see the importance of them. If you look at it, really, the first armour were made from that. You could say bowls were crafted from trees like that. Shape. The idea of it, isn't it? What do you think? I think. Look at that one. Out. That's a bottleneck vase, eh? Mm -hmm. Slightly different. Just copy that. We copy nature. Everything's been imitated from something in nature. Imitating God's work to every type of level, from pots to the internet. Till I think they want to get to actual creation, don't they? Actual creation of a reality. Just having a deeper conversation with Jess about walking around and ourselves being cells in a bigger organism unaware of that bigger organism and talking about how the tree and what's happened to the larger organism of the earth is very similar to what happens with ants when they eat that bigger object and all the parts of that organism become parts of our world we use and create everything that you see all from the same substance or from the same thing but different material because of the size, depth of it. So we look at stone, we look at all these buildings, all these different shapes, we look at gems, everything coming from the same thing, but different just parts of it. The bigger world. What you'll see in the exhibit is a simulation of what you would see in the wild, which is leafcutter ants cutting down trees practically, um, several hundred of them carrying leaves down into their underground nest. What you will see in our exhibit that you won't see in the wild is the underground nest and you'll see a series of subterranean fungus chambers and the fungus is actually what the ants eat and what they're cutting the leaves for. The leaves are used as a medium to grow the fungus on. It's, it's what they eat, it's what they subsist on, it's what they feed their queen. 
about them. There are worker ants, which are all sterile um, females, and males are only produced during times of reproduction. It's about them. There are worker ants, which are all sterile um, females, and males are only produced during times of reproduction. It's a lovely day for a stroll on your scooter, lovely day for a stroll on your scooter, out in the sun. Alright, you come up with the next song. I don't know, you're the best at witnesses. I see you, ass. Over there. I know, I, I can sense Jehovah's witnesses. I sense their energy is good energy, but at the same time, it's the wrong type of way to do shit. See, so I told you. I spot them on my life. It's like police. I've got perfect hazard of perception. Look at the clouds in the sky. They look mad. Very clear mountain top today. What tree some? What's that coin of mountains? Look like a little X up there. Just a little X in there. There's your big one. There's your little one. There's your big one. Hey everyone. Hey. Before we let y'all walk with us for a second, Brown Street's the Las Cristianas. <laughs> Man, Las Cristianas. Las Cristianas. Las Cristianas. It's a lovely view. Right view of it. Horses pass up here in front of my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, boy. Look what I was talking about with the trees. Being headrest, the shadows that I showed you on the floor. Literally, look at that. That's my crown, the tree top, the sun. Peeking through the top, you see the lovely sun. You need a My crown. These slight walls look. You can see this would have been part of. That. Everything used down here, everything isn't it? It's everything literally. Everything used. All the materials used are slight walls from the tree. Interesting use of material. When you look into them though, look, you can almost see. walking past this place, look at those. Literal trees, I mean tables and chairs made out of huge tree trunks. The be a zen place. Oh, look at the little dog, chilling on that. He's very zen isn't he? Yoga, Aikido, Kung Fu. Lost Christianas, we made it, baby. We made it. That thing called Tower Right. Almost imitates a tree. If you imagine, you know, the trunk and the roots, and then up there, that's all the branches and tops like the one next to it. Very similar. 
and on its own island almost it's mm -hmm. it's imitating this higher thing what we're what we're on right now you can't see much of it because of all the apartments but as we've said these apartments are built from the tape of the tree and that's I think very symbolic and represents the larger as in a, a macro micro level as I've always spoke about. I'm gonna dance, no one's smiling at me. I think I'm crazy. You can't see me dancing, but I'm dancing. Looking at Jess calling her ass. <laughs> Last day, cloud still hangs over top mm. over there, doesn't it? That hardly gets any niceness. Mm. It's the precious little moments in life you remember. Days on the beach with your girl you remember. Living each day till you fall like September. Bella. And strong be the passion, no, it's never just amber. It's all those little moments only you and her remember. Precious be your time to the end you remember. The precious little moments in life you remember. Days on the beach with your girl you remember. Living these days till you fall like September. Strong be the passion, no, it's never just amber. All those little moments only you and her remember. Precious be your time till the end you remember. Each and every moment is the bomb with her. You remind it every time that you look at her. All the time that she hold you, save you. You know her love be precious like an angel. Precious be this life, but more precious be this lady. Ay. God sent, know she saved me. It's the precious little moments in life you remember. Days on the beach with your girl you remember. Living each day till you fall like September. Storm be the passion, no, it's never just ember. All those little moments only you know I remember, yeah. Precious be your time to the end, you remember now. And each and every moment is divine with her. She reminds you every time that you look at her. Yeah. Uh. Love life, love and life, deeper conversations, and craze. I hope y'all enjoyed the ride. I love y'all, love and life. I'm always close, I'm always there, in your heart, and I care. God, behind your face, behind your mat, find yourself. Find the Lord, find Jesus, find it all.